everything. Yeah. Well, if you look at photos of me from, I think probably five years ago, um, I, I looked older, I think, and I've become stricter in my diet over the last five years as I've gotten older and wiser and less worried about my kids um, and more about my own health. The but also, it's an, it's an act of love for your kids. You know, to eat better is an act of love for your children because you want to be here for as long as you possibly can. You know, every age, I lost both my parents in 2016, and I, I felt so lucky that I had them. My dad was 89 when he died. I was lucky I had them for so long. But I still miss them terribly. I would have liked to have even more of them. Well, that's so, why I do what I do. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's really an act important. of love. It sure is. And and I, I make an argument in, in my book that we have a responsibility to do this for our loved ones who want us around even for an extra two weeks and hopefully another 10 years. Um, it's a selfish act to let yourself age rapidly. I think so. And it's never too late to start no. um, in studies. You, you can be 70 or 80 and you can still have a benefit by doing the kind of things I've talked about. And my father has shows what you can be like in your 80s he's just as vibrant healthy and probably much ha happier than in his 30s and 40s and that's yeah. the world that i want everybody um to experience in their yeah if you start working out even in your 70s with weight your muscles actually really respond to that so i wanted to ask you for my audience what are your three top tips for mastering your mind all right so what i what i do to do what I do, which is take on one of the hardest problems ever faced by humanity, uh, is uh, I wake up every day realizing it's a gift that I have my health and my energy and my friends and my family. So I jump out of bed. I start playing loud music. I'm dancing around. I'm super happy, even if the day is going to be stressful. I, the second thing I do is I surround myself by with positive people. I get texts from people pretty much every morning saying, Today, I hope it's going to be, you know, you're going to crush it today. It's going to be fantastic. And I send them the same motivation. So it's a wonderful uh, world to be in. And then the third thing that I would say keeps me going is uh, I remember um, the bad times in life and realize that the little things that are bad today really don't matter. And if, they, if, I, if I'm not going to remember them, next week, I'm not going to worry about them so much. In fact, most of the things you go through, you'll forget about a year from now. And uh, so keep the stress down, get good sleep, surround yourself with great people, uh, and just be positive that you're around uh, and, and try to stick around for longer.